Kevin Kirkvalit and I got together on Leech Lake during the fall of 2015 to chase walleyes with big minnows fished on roach rig live bait rigs. Kevin and I got together again last November and again we fished live bait rigs and minnows, but this time we were after late fall smallmouth bass. Try to hold here, Kevin. Got him. Fish on, Kevin. Yeah, big one too. Is it? Yeah, he's a nice one. Well, we marked a bunch of them. Yeah, we was walking on the Ray Marine there. We, we had four or five real nice spots on it. You want me to grab the net? There he is, nice smallie. Grab the net? No, we're good for right now. Let me work him out a little bit. Okay. There he is, nice jump. Nice fish. Good we one? probably should net this one, Mike. I like that sound. <laughs> that little grind, grind, grind? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sound. He saw the boat. He knows the one thing to do with the boat. I think a lot of that, huh? Bulldogging you, isn't he? Yeah. Nice fish. Here he comes. I'm going to pull him up one more time. All right. Oops. Saw the thinker. Ready? Yep. Coming up. Ooh, he's a big one. Good job, Kevin. That girl. Nice fish. Yep. Perfect spot, too, right in that corner of the cheek. Can you grab him? Come on, baby. Open up. There we go. Good work. Yeah, nice fish. Got a little belly coming. We're not, we're not going to talk about bellies anymore, we said. Oh, that's right. How come you always got to catch a bigger one than the one that I caught? That's what the guy in the back's supposed to do. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Good start. You know, them fall colors are just unbelievable. On the next pass through the fish, it was my turn. Giving these fish time to eat the big chub is often critical to hooking them. There he is. Another beast. Yep. I like when they singe that drag. Let's move these out of the way, huh? Got him. Got him. Thanks, Kevin. It's well, not it's as big a, as yours. It's still nice, though. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, sir. Yep. Yeah, they are pretty this time of year, aren't they? Boy, that's a nice fish. Feeding, feeding, feeding. You could just never get over those red eyes. It nope. just, it's crazy. You know what? He's got that way down there, does not? Not too bad. Can you grab me that hook out back there? Okay. I wonder what <laughs> that, that minnow thinks when he's swimming along and all of a sudden, you got one, that. one of those guys swims yeah. up to him. I'd get nervous too. All right, let's get it back. The smallmouth are starting to bite. When we come back, we'll have more big fall bass action. Fishing the Midwest is presented by beautiful Cavatogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park. Evinrude, introducing the all new Evinrude E-Tech G2, the outboard of the future, available today. Get to Cabela's for all your hunting, fishing, camping, and shooting needs. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. Vexilar, own the ice. 68, 69, 70 bucks. Get them hidden without taking a hit. Cabela's Depth Master Combo, great price, lifetime guarantee. That's practical. Larson FX Boats. Built by second and third generation boat builders with pride in their hearts, quality in their minds, precision in their hands, and a passion for fishing. Every FX is made for anglers by anglers who know quality when they see it. Every time you fish, every single cast, every single day. Larson FX does the job and does it right. 
We're proud to build boats we stand behind with a transferable five to life limited warranty. But you'll be proud to own one. Spend your day on the water and go wherever you want to go and fish for whatever you want to fish for. You work hard for your money and deserve a boat that works as hard as you do. FX, the boat that catches it all. See more online and at your local FX dealer. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Ray Marine Superior High Fidelity Chirp Sonar Vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. It won't win a beauty contest. Might win a fishing contest. For 85 bucks, you can bring it all without spending it all. Cabela's Advanced Angler's Tackle Bag. Great price. Lifetime guarantee. That's practical. Kevin Kirk Vallit and I are rigging big chubs for fall smallmouth bass. Being patient and feeding line for several seconds to biting fish is proving to be the key to success. How we doing, Kevin? I got him. You got him? Yep. You let me know when you need uh... How did these... I let that one slide by? You weren't ready. You were playing around again. <laughs> Another smallie is trying it? to do the dance. Why they just dig. Yep. Something about a big smallmouth on a big chub. Yeah, and there's just, you know, and they're putting that feed bag on and they want to eat. Yep, there's no quit in them, is there? You let me know. You got him, Kevin? Yep, I got him. Boy, there's nothing wrong with that one. Woo! That's Boy, a tanker. Them are some nice fish. Open. <laughs> Look at that one. Right, barely hooked too. Look at how fat they are. In addition to being an excellent fisherman, Kevin really knows outboard motors as well. Through his role at BRP, Kevin has been part of the introduction of the E-Tech G2 engines that have taken the industry by storm, a motor line that is expanding. We've now brought the G2 technology down into our next series of motors, which is the 150, the 150 HO, the 175, and the 200. To go along with the big girls where we've got the 200, 225, 250, and 300 that, that the big multi-species boats run around with, much like you've got on the back of your 20 here. This expanding line has the same cutting edge technology that the original G2 motors had. The eye trim, which everybody is loving because of the fuel efficiency and the ease of running your package, because the motor trims by itself for you automatically. The fuel efficiency that we have, the auto winterization, the, now we've got seven color panels to go with the boat and the motor packages, over 600 different color combinations that we can match to really make this thing uh, snap when it's in the water and shine out. So, and then on top of that, we've, we've got one of the only 150s in the market that has power steering. So we're really, truly making it an easy operation for the user that, that's out fishing every day. Another top feature of the G2 engines is that they require very little maintenance. Five years, Mike, or 500 hours, no scheduled dealer maintenance. And when you talk about really no maintenance to it, we mean it. Five years, 500 hours, no scheduled dealer maintenance. And, and what we're trying to do is give the individual more time on the water to enjoy that experience, that boating experience, and being out with their family, their fishing buddies, whatever they're doing out there. And, and you've got 40 hours of runtime before you need to uh, add oil to the engine. And you've got it all through our G2 class, from the 150, the 175, the 200, 225, 250, and 300. All of those engines, five years, 500 hours, no scheduled maintenance. I got that one, Mike. Got that one, Kevin? No more letting this one get away. Good work. You let me know if, when and some, if you need me. You bet. He's got some shoulders on him. Does he? Good. Look at this one. 
Oh yeah. Nice one, Kevin. Coming up. Here we go. Good work. Here we go. Look at that one. Look nice. at the belly on that. Gee, many Christmas. I'm the fish, not you. Yeah, I mean you. <laughs> nice job. There you go, sir. Got him. Got him? Yeah. Wow. They are just, they are really putting on the bag. They are, aren't they? Boy. I'm going to let him have the hook. That old girl sees it. That's, that is really, look at the nose on him. Yep. That was a nice fish, Kevin, you know, and one of the things, too, about the new G2s is as expensive as boats are today and the way glass boats are re-holding their value now, a lot of people might want to just repower without buying a whole new rig, and that's certainly an option with these new engines as well, isn't it? Well, exactly, and, and with the power uh, units that we have and the, and the ability to do just a plug-and-play type format, it really makes it easy for the individual to spend less money on a boat that he already paid for and now just repower and getting himself a new power plant. You got a fish on, Kevin. I see that. Kind of got under the boat a little bit on me, but that's okay. Do you need the net? Eventually, I think we will. I think I saw it. You saw the net? Or you I saw, saw the, the fish. fish. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you. you bet. Another nice bronze uh, back. Feeding up on fish. Nice fish. That was a fun day as big minnows on roach rigs and big smallmouth bass go hand in hand in the fall. When we come back, we'll be using minnows to catch walleyes. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Impulse, excite the bite with scent, color, and action. Ray Marine, don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, stay at the shore and explore North Iowa. P-Line, because we fish. Lake Cabotogoma in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogoma Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Oh, there we go. All right. yeah. Impulse Soft Plastics. 143% more effective than the competition. And the best alternative to live bait. Unique colors, actions, scents. Impulse Soft Plastics catch more fish, period. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards, a choice. Now with the Evan Rood E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Now, there's a way to enjoy all your old home movies and photos on any modern device you like. Let iMemories digitize and archive them for you so you can easily view them, edit them, and share them online with others. It's the best way to make sure images of your family and friends will never fade. And neither will your memories. Visit iMemories.com for details.
This past October, we returned to one of our favorite fisheries anywhere, Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Cab is just a wonderful place to be, and the smallmouth action that we experienced on Cab that day in October was perhaps the best smallmouth bite I've ever been on. But when you're on Cab, you want to at least see if the walleyes are biting. After Tim Snyder, Mike Frisch, and I caught our fellow smallmouth, we moved to a walleye spot. Oh. Oh. Ooh, he feels pretty good, you know it? I mean, he feels really good. Whoa, I'm liking him more all the time. I'm not sure that's the walleye. I don't think, I don't know if it's the walleye. I hope it is, I really hope it is, but... It... Oh, cool. that, that's a walleye. Is it? Wait, is that? No, that's a walleye. That's a nice walleye. Yeah, there you go. Boy, I... Huh? You know, I thought he's bigger than that. Well, Nothing wrong with that. He's not so. <laughs> you know, I thought he felt big. He's fat. He is fat. Look, look, at, that, look how fat he is. And how deep was he, Mike? He was in about 32 feet. He was down there a ways. Wow, look how fat he is. Are these smallmouth and walleyes, just this time of the year, they get fat, don't they? Yeah, they really load up. Huh. Good. Give you all that you want on a fight, too, don't they? Very nice, yep. Nice walleye. Next, it was Tim's turn. Well, you know, it's interesting. We were out cruising the area a little bit, saw the fish in the sonar, and it, we, it happens all the time, doesn't it? You drop it on them, and they bite. So we put the marker buoy right there. Hopefully he doesn't hook the marker buoy. I know, that's, <laughs> here he is right here, you see him? I don't see him yet. Yeah, nice one. Nice oh, boy. Oh, good job, Tim. Nice one. Look at that good guy. Work. They're fatties, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're really fat, have some fish. So, this time of the year, Tim, we're out in 35 feet. Typical out here. Mm -hmm. Nope. Typical lots of places in the fall. Yeah. Wow. Look at that belly on that guy. On that girl. Yeah. Woo. Nice. Jig and minnow, Tim? Yeah, jig and minnow, 35 feet, just dragging along that bottom, Bob, and I'll tell you something, she couldn't stand it. There you go, girl. It was a calm, overcast afternoon. The fish were deep, 27 to 35 feet, quarter ounce fireball jigs tipped with larger minnows, about four inches. P-Line Tactical or CXX in six or eight pound test allows an invisible presentation, but also provides so much sensitivity. Here we go again. Yep. Oh. That guy was in 35 feet of water. He was down there a ways. And he feels good. Look at him shake that rod. Look at him. Whoa. You see, this is that last one, did, and I just thought he was a something other than a walleye. Wow. Look at that. Huh. Just Ooh. what a nice walleye. Huh. Now, what's the deal here, Tim? There's a slot limit? Yeah, there is a slot limit on Cabotoma. Currently, it's 17 to 28. Must be throwing back. You can keep one over 28. But anything under 17, you can keep. Yep, yep. And it's such simple fishing right here when they're deep. You look at the depth finder, you see them, you drop that jig on them, and they eat it. They just can't help themselves, can they? Fat, long, and good, and... I was just gonna ask you, Tim, What's that? about what we're fishing here. It's a structure fishing, I'll tell you what. You, we came off of some deep water up on this little structure right here. And, uh... Bob, you wanna grab the net there? Marked your, uh, on your GPS, we marked a bunch of fish in, what, 35 feet, I think? Yep. It's, Threw a little marker buoy out, which is kind of nice to do. And uh, started popping these nice walleyes right here. Are you guys trying to tell me I should switch to a jig? <laughs> not right now, not until I'm done. Not until you guys are done? Yeah. Here's a beautiful oh, look at that. eater sized walleye oh. right here. Is that an eater? That's an eater. That's right an eater, there. yep. Yeah. I tell you what, Bob. This is what is really indicative of Cabotogamo walleyes. They are beautiful eaters. We'll have a lot of nice big ones also to eat, but this right here is gonna taste unbelievable in a fry pan on one of these shorelines, I'll tell you. That is a nice 16, 16 and a half inch walleye right there. You know, I've been coming up here a lot of years, Tim, and the, the ratio to eaters to big ones is really good, isn't it? You're right, Bob. This is, uh, there's a good ratio of small fish, big fish, and these eaters right here, right in the middle. And I'll tell you, this is, uh, Gonna taste good on a shore lunch. Maybe next year. 
So Tim, we're fishing deep structure, and when I fish deep structure back home in central Minnesota this time of the year in the fall, I just cruise these likely areas, humps, the tips of points, keeping an eye on my depth finder, looking for fish, and when I find them, I go back through them and fish for them. Is that what you do? It's exactly what we do, Mike. It's very similar to central Minnesota. We're up here in the northern area where we have a lot of a glacial area where there's a lot of humps and, and reefs, points coming off these islands. So what we like to do is just like you, we come up in there nice and slow, and uh, when we mark these fish, we throw a buoy out on them. Those Ray Marine units do such a good job of showing the underwater world and the fish, and Ray Marine makes a unit to fit anyone's needs. Feels like a nice fish. Look, oh, oh there's like like I thought. Big one on. Yeah. I kind of thought it was. Way Nothing wrong with that. Little run. You get a lot of a uh, lot of northern pike, and we got a very nice, large population of northern pike. Husky, good fish. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Larson FX Series, the boat that catches it all. Salmo, insist on Salmo. Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's new winter hotspot. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. Here's outstanding fishing advice from some very successful anglers. I insist on Salmo. Insist on Salmo. I insist on Salmo. Insist on Salmo. Insist on Salmo at Cabela's. P Line, premium fishing lines for all fish species during all seasons. High performance copolymers built to handle a wide range of fishing situations, fluorocarbon coated lines that are sensitive and invisible like a fluorocarbon, yet with the manageability of mono. Super strong Teflon coated braids for ultra long casts and extreme sensitivity, and premium fluorocarbons, including the all new award winning Tactical. P Line, a line for all fish species during all seasons. A boat ride on the water, a concert in the shadow of legends. A day of fishing in one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest. These are just a few of the wonderful attractions Clear Lake has to offer. Nestled in northern Iowa, Clear Lake is known for its beautiful scenic landscapes, top-rated beaches, and yearly events. From the annual winter dance party to the blockbuster 4th of July celebration, Clear Lake has something for everyone. Stay at the shore and explore. 68, 69, 70 bucks. Get him hitting without taking a hit. Cabela's Depth Master Combo. Great price. Lifetime guarantee. That's practical. Impulse Soft Plastics. 143% more effective than the competition. And the best alternative to live bait. Unique colors, actions, scents. Impulse soft plastics catch more fish, period. Waterproof, windproof, and for 130 bucks, weatherman proof. Cabela's Rainy River Parka, great price, lifetime guarantee. That's practical. Front came through the next morning. We only had an hour or so to fish, but the fish were still willing to bite. Like a nice fish. One more size there. Yeah. Yep. Biggest yeah. one of the day. Yeah, feels like a good fish. Yeah, here he comes. Oh. Ooh, that's nice oh. oh, look at that old girl. Look at there. <laughs> you know, we've had a few hit and spit this morning, you know? And that's pretty typical of this sort of conditions, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's uh it's uh, the weather change makes a little bit difference on the pattern of these fish. And uh, this is a really, really nice walleye here. Yeah, he had the whole thing. I mean, he ate that whole jig and metal and the whole deal. Yeah, it was a little short biting. And I'll tell you something. I just doing a little quick snap jig on this, Bob. And uh, just a little short snap jigs on it. And then uh, she couldn't stand it. But that is a nice, fat, healthy walleye on a cold front morning, isn't it? I've been using the new Cabela's Arachnid series of bait casting rods and reels 
and I've been really impressed. I use them a bunch for my bass fishing. And what I love about the Arachnid reels is they have a bunch of features which allow me to flip, pitch, and cast baits a long way. And then the Arachnid rod, well, it's got super technology. And what that means is this rod blank remains rigid when you're casting and retrieving and it's very sensitive. However, when you hook a fish, it becomes more flexible. It has great shock absorption. That helps you land a fighting fish. Great technology, sensitive, lightweight. The Cabela's Arachnid series of bait casting rods and reels, they've made me a better fisherman. Cabela's has all the good stuff, and the people that work there can help you select the products that best fit your needs. Now back to the fishing. You are on and with that jig. They're loving that. Uh... Black and gold jig. Is there some size there, too? It's just an average size fish, but uh, probably a good eater, Bob. Yep, right. Uh, Tim, you know, the weather has changed considerably from yesterday. And, um, you know, we started one hump, not much going on. We pull this hump, and we pop a couple just like that. Is that typical? I mean, some humps are just have fish who want to get caught, and some don't. It is. You know, we got a, we got a cold front. They came through Bob, and I'll tell you what, you come up with these humps, and we've seen some marking in here. We're a little deeper water today. You know, they were a little shallower yesterday. Today, they're a little deeper. And uh, and so uh, they're, they're a little more lethargic, so we'll put her back. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. I missed one. Drop back down, and finally, got one to eat it. Nice, healthy eater right there. Yep. He would look good in the grease bath. <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> you know, the other thing that I'm impressed with, Tim, is they're nice, thick, fat fish. You know, they, uh... There's a ton of bait in Lake Abitoga, so these fish have a lot to choose from. Yep, wow. Mike, I noticed you're rigging your line a little bit differently for this deep water. What do you got going there? I am, Bob. What I'm doing is when I fish deep water, whether it be with a jig or a bottom bulge or whatever, I like to use braid on my main line, and then I'll tie in a mono or a fluorocarbon snell. But I like that braid because in this deep water, it seems like you get a little better hook sets because you don't have as much stretch. So that braid helps. The other thing is you can use a little lighter jig because braid is thinner in diameter, so it cuts the water, so you can get down with the lighter jig. And braid is more sensitive, too. You can feel the fish better and get better hook sets because it doesn't stretch. Another outstanding trip to an outstanding body of water and area. Cabotogama Lake offers world-class fishing for walleyes, smallmouth bass, northern pike, and crappies, and the scenery is outstanding as well. Put a trip to Cab on your list of things that need to get done. Hey, for all of us that fish in the Midwest, thanks for stopping by. Be nice to one another. We'll see you again next time.